time to take your pills. Here. You have to take these. Why? You take them every day, Dad. Okay. What are you watching? I don't know. Here, I'll take that. What's today? Wednesday, the 21st. May? July, Dad. Did I have to do something today? We already did, remember? We went to the doctor this morning. Oh. Are you ready for bed? No. You know it's better for you to sleep in the bed. Don't wanna. Fine, sleep in the chair again, but don't get up without me here. Why? Because I don't want you to fall like last time. I did? You need anything before I go? No. Hey, I'll just be down the hall. I'll come check on you in a couple of hours. Good night, Dad. Hmm. wandering around like this. Come on, let's go back to your room. Dad? 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 Dad! Jerry Hubert West was born on June 27th, 1942. During his life, he touched countless souls and delivered grace and kindness. When he was only 15, Jerry began to volunteer at a soup kitchen. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever you're feeling, it's okay to let it out. I said I'm fine. I wasn't trying to upset you. I know, I'm sorry. It's not you anyway. Please join me in prayer. Amen. Sorry, I wasn't trying to bother you. Well, I'm sorry. I just don't know how to feel today. That's okay, you don't have to. Just feel whatever you need to. Thanks. Have you talked to Dale yet? No, why would I talk to him? Michael, I know this is a hard day, but he's your brother. It's not easy for him either. Yeah, he put on quite a show. Don't you think you should at least say something to him? You know, it was his idea to make the service religious. Well, isn't that common? Dad wasn't religious, never was. Well, you know I'm not either, but I think it helps people. That's the problem, it's all about them. It's never about what Dad wanted. Even in death, it's all about them. You cared what he wanted. Yeah, I guess. 
Maybe too much. Kindness isn't a weakness, Michael. Sometimes it is. Hey, Sarah. Mike. Hi, Dale. Didn't get to say hi earlier. Sorry. Today's been a real rough one. Yeah. Sorry for your loss. Listen, I was hoping that we could talk real quick, just you and me. Oh, of course. Uh, Michael, I'll see you in a bit. Great service today. Yeah, we planned it. Mike, you don't have to take that tone with me. Let's just be friendly, all right? That'll be a first. It's, it's, it's been a tough day for us both, for everyone here. Yeah. I'm sorry. Thanks, Mikey. So how are you holding up? Well, honestly, not well. I, it's been, I've been hitting some rough patches lately. Yeah. I mean, it's just the money's been tight and all, and I was just... <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm just going to come out and ask. Do you know what I'm going to get in the will? Dale. I really need the money. Is that all today means to you? Of course not. But <sighs> you know that it's been a hard few years for me. I really need this, Mikey. I knew this was going to happen. You already live in dad's old house. You drive his old car. You've been getting money from him your whole fucking life. Don't talk to me like that. Not today. You get your fucking money. Now. Get out of here. Do you think dad would be happy to hear you talk to me like that? How would you know what he wanted? The only time you ever talked to him was when you needed something. You're lucky. Lucky that what? Come on, say it. Hey, everything okay? Yeah, uh, we were just catching up. I'll see you around, Mikey. Can the two of you not fight today of all days? What's wrong? It's nothing. I need to get out of here. It's a good idea. Can I come with you? Thanks, but uh, I need to be alone. Don't shut me out. You know I'm here for you. I know. I just need some space. Okay. I'll see you later.
my dad. I don't know why I was surprised to see you here. Of course you're still here. You just can't leave me alone. And when you got sick five years ago, they said you'd only have a few months, but you just wouldn't go. It was a miracle. And I was so glad to get to spend more time with you, but you just wouldn't go. None of the others had to take care of you. Hell, they refused to, even when I asked for just a bit of help. You know that picture they had of you today? Where you look so healthy? That's how they get to remember you. They didn't have to see you sick. It's all so easy when you can just ignore all the bad things. None of them had to take you to your treatments. You know, the constant fucking barrage of doctor's appointments. None of them had to clean up after you. Feed you, bathe you. Watch as your mind faded. It all came down to me. And Dale gets to be the biggest fuck-up imaginable. He can't even lift a finger to help. Just criticizes me whenever he thinks I'm doing something wrong. You know what? I'm fucking jealous. He's had complete freedom these past five years. He's got to live his life, even if he makes it a fucking disaster. I didn't get anything. What about my life? I couldn't move, I couldn't start a family, I couldn't change my job because I needed the benefits for you. I've given up everything for you and now you're dead but you're still here? I just want to move on with my fucking life. I don't want you here. I want you gone, so just go. Just fucking go. Thank you.